I thought I, I just uh, say a few things about Christmas, my view of Christmas, uh, what I think Christmas is uh, good for, <laughs> why I think it's a great holiday, why I and enjoyed it, but why I think it's a great holiday. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the urban le- somebody says, let's guess how long it will take you on to repeat the urban legend that Christmas came from a pagan solstice holiday. It did. I'm not going to repeat it. I've, I say it every year. I've already talked about it many times. It actually did come from a pagan holiday, as almost all the Christian holidays uh, do. Uh, all of them are, are basically uh, crypt off of uh, pagan holidays. The Jewish holidays do the same thing. They basically take the times of the year where the pagans had holidays and they, um, they you know, kind of uh, wrap a... Um, a uh, Jewish or Christian holiday around that. Uh, all the all the habits, all the actual um, uh, actual uh, uh, you know behaviors that we engage in at Christmas are all either pagan or just straight commercial. Uh, there's no relationship between the Christmas tree and Jesus. There's no relationship between uh, giving gifts and uh, and Jesus. Uh, there is no relation between the way Christmas is celebrated, uh, the timing of Christmas being right now and everything else, none of that has anything to do with Christianity or with Jesus. It all has to do with the solstice, the, 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 uh, the winter solstice, and it has everything to do with uh, winter and uh, you know celebrating the shortest day and the beginning, the end of winter, and has everything to do with the commercial, uh, you know, the 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 wealth of the Americans in the 19th century, early 20th century, um, that had to do with selling stuff and uh, creating a marketing campaign around Santa and, and uh, reindeer and gift giving, and that is all just a marketing, a brilliant, brilliant, amazing capitalist marketing ploy, but it has nothing to do with Jesus or Christianity. So. Uh, None of this has it. You, you find the connection. You find the connection between Christmas tree, Santa Claus, reindeer, gift giving, uh, and, uh, and just, just lights and everything else that's associated with Christmas. You find a connection between that and Jesus. Good luck. Good luck. Jesus or Christianity, good luck. I mean, it's just not there. Um, it is about particularly in the modern form, it's about uh, American enterprise, American um, American stores, American entrepreneurs uh, finding a way to leverage a minor religious holiday into a major cultural event. And Christmas is really a cultural event. So I love Christmas. Uh, it, it, it's a great time. Uh, it tends to be a relaxing time. December tends to be a time where people relax between, uh, you know, even as intense as work is, uh, it, it's always a time where people slow down just a little bit. Business just gets delayed a little bit. Not this year for me because of the move and because of everything else going on. But, um, you know, it, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, nothing happened on Christmas. Uh, it just, just last points on the religion stuff. Jesus was not born in Christmas. Jesus was born in March, April, probably. Um, there's nothing to connect Christmas with, uh, you know, Christianity, other than the fact that they wanted to take over a pagan holiday. That is not an urban myth. It is, <clears throat> it is, that is the fact. Anyway, forget about that. Not important. Um, <clears throat> so this year has not been particularly relaxing for me just because of the move um, and everything else going on. Um, I am, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am basically shutting down, selling my home in California, leaving California forever. Actually, I had an experience today that confirmed my decision. I, I had to do something, um, I had to do something that related, I guess, to, to the regulations of the state of California. Basically, I was told I couldn't do what I wanted to do. There was no way to get around it. I am stuck. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to talk to a lawyer on Monday Simple transaction that should be easy and simple, and certainly in places like Nevada and uh, Florida is a simple transaction, uh, is a 
nightmare and, and for me right now an impossibility um, because of uh, the regulations uh, in the state of California. So uh, I am uh, in, um, in the process of packing and selling my house in California and moving permanently to Puerto Rico and uh, buying a place in Puerto Rico that'll be my permanent home for the next at least a uh, decade, decade. So uh, it's uh, it's exciting, but it's a lot of work and was not very relaxing while trying to do these shows, trying to do my hedge fund work and everything else. It's been an intense, an intense few weeks. But I love Christmas, usually, <laughs> not this year, uh, for the fact that it is a time for reflection, a time when things slow down a little bit, a time that you can take time for yourself, a time to invest in yourself, a time to do some introspecting and to plan for next year and to think about <clears throat> what happened uh, during the year that has just passed. Um, the sh I will be doing a show on um, December 31st, and uh, the show from December 31st will be a uh, retrospective for 2020. It will be the uh, will be a kind of review of the year. And it is also going to be a show in which we'll have a $5,000 match. So we have an anonymous a supporter who is doing a, uh, is, uh, will contribute dollar for dollar, anything we raise up to $5,000. So it will be, this will be my uh, big telethon night. Um, and uh, we will do a uh, 2020 review of 2020, highlights, lowlights, lots of lowlights of uh, 2020, the year I cannot wait to see end for a variety of professional and personal reasons. It is the year from hell. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited about getting it over with and getting to 2021. Um, 2020 was really the worst year for me personally that I can remember, at least in the last 30, 40 years. Uh, so I'm happy to get this over with. Uh, and uh, it, what better way to get it over with than with a big bang, which will be a $5,000 match uh, show. And uh, for those of you who I hope you all show up, I hope you'll bring your friends, I hope you'll bring your checkbook. Uh, but it is, uh, that show will be at 4 p.m. Pacific time on 3.31, so 7 p.m. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And even Europeans will be up because uh, it'll be closer to midnight. Uh, it'll be just past midnight over in Europe. Uh, it'll be in the UK. It'll be exactly 12 o'clock. And, and in um, Europe, it'll be 1 a.m. The rest of Europe in Israel will be 2 a.m. So you'll all be still be returning from your parties a little drunk. What better time than that to raise money? So uh, hopefully we can get you all engaged, uh, get you all supporting the show. We've got a lot of exciting plans for 2021, including uh, the building of a new studio. Uh, whatever we raised will help to uh, to build a new studio. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. 
uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.